Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Let's make some popsicles. Okay guys, uh, we got these uh, little popsicle things here. I'm not sure what these are for, I think to drink out of maybe. Uh, if they melt or something, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really say. It doesn't say at all what they're for. But, uh, she got these was at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Uh, yesterday she picked them up for me. So I got some Kool-Aid things here. We're going to make some Kool-Aid today. It's been pretty hot. Or not Kool-Aid. We're going to make some, um, popsicles today it's been pretty hot out it's been rainy hot rainy it's been rainy and hot at the same time so we're gonna make these we're gonna make some popsicles and see if these things work out okay I'm guessing that it doesn't say anything about these spouts I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're for, to tell you the truth. So, uh, <laughs> monkey's messaging me. We message each other back and forth all day. So, uh, I mean, I don't know what they're for. Uh, these don't clip on very well, so I can't see. All right, let's go ahead and take these off. And we'll dump some of these in here. I don't know how much you want to put in there, but I'm just going to go like just to the edge of this. Can you guys see anything? I may have to. I got some more in the fridge. I may have to get some more. We'll see though. But it's saying you get two more, so apparently they used to be sold in fours. So I'm only going to go to that line there. I might have enough here. And then we're going to put them in the freezer and we're going to check them out. Ooh. Making a mess. Alright, so there's one. But these things, like I said, they're from Kool-Aid. These things are pretty good. What I, what I was going to do was I was going to get some popsicle sticks at the store the other night and I forgot. I was just going to cut a slice in the bottom. And, uh, Stick popsicle stick down in there, and then once and freeze them like that, and then once they froze, you know I'd have a popsicle. But I forgot the stick, so she saw these. She like I said, she was at work. She stopped to go to the restroom, and she just happened to see them and picked them up for me. So she's always thinking about me. So while she's at work and stuff. So I don't know how far you are supposed to fill them. And I'm going to go like that. I don't know. Let's fill them up a little more. It doesn't say anything about it. You know, what, what these are for. You can blow through them. They're, I mean, they're clear through. Just kind of a quick. I don't know what she gave for them. If she, if if she gave them, if she got them at the Dollar Tree, then here I'll ask her real quick. Where did you get? But like I said, it's been, it's thundering right now. Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? In Inverness, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds and thunderstorms 
with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 75 degrees. It's like when it gets up to, you know, like real hot, like yesterday, it got pretty hot. And it was like uh, the sun was shining. It was a nice day. There was, nice, you know, a nice little breeze. Beautiful day. Thundering like crazy. And there wasn't a cloud in the sky. 20 minutes later, sure enough, it broke loose and it started storm. Or yeah, it started storming, raining, and and so we're gonna put these like this. I, I still don't know what these are for. I've never. Do you guys know what these are for? Because I really don't know. So as soon as she responds back, I'll let you know where she got them. Then we'll know how much they were. I thought she said Dollar Tree, but she could have said Dollar Store because I know she's, for different patients, she's got different routes where she'll stop and, like, get a sandwich or go to the restroom or whatever, and so. All right, guys, let's put these in the freezer, and then we'll come back after they are frozen. It shouldn't take that long. And like I said, look, it says nothing about it on here. It just says, um, ice pop maker, uh, makes frozen treats, dishwasher safe. So that's good for you guys that have a dishwasher. Includes two extra ice pop makers. It doesn't really... It just talks about uh, nothing. I mean, it doesn't say anything uh, um, what these are for. So I don't know. I'm missing something, I guess. Okay, she got them at the Dollar Tree, so they were a buck. So... It's in our heart... All right, let's get these in the freezer, and then we'll get them out and try one. Okay, guys, we're back. I ended up leaving these in the uh, in the freezer overnight. Now, this is plastic. It's not silicone. I think I figured out what these are for. It's a little loose. But uh, I'll show you here in just a second. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it popped right out. Now what I think these are for, I think as this melts down into here, I think you can drink that out of that as it melts. I think that's what that's for. I'm not, I don't know. I didn't Google it or anything, but that's just my guess. So let me know what you guys think it's for, but I'm pretty sure that when this melts down in here, you know, you got that liquid you can drink, so. And it tastes like a very good popsicle. Let's see. Kind of wiggle it back and forth now. Yeah, they come out pretty easy. You can always run this, the bottom parts here, under warm water. You don't want to get this warm because then your stick may pull out. But you can put this under warm water if you want as well. It'd probably come out easier, but uh, they're coming out pretty easy. So I got me some popsicles. So, the Dollar Tree Popsicle Maker gets a couple thumbs up for me. Those are good sized popsicles um, to, uh, you know, for a kid, that's pretty good size, you know. It's a good size uh, popsicle, but not too much. And, like I said, I think that's to drink out of if it starts leaking, you know, just, I think that's what that's for. Yeah, and those uh, Kool-Aid things. Of course, you can use whatever you want. Make your own Kool-Aid. You can use tea. Anything like that. Uh, Monkey and I were talking about uh, maybe putting some vodka, mixing some vodka up in, in, in something like this, and then freezing it. And we'll have our Alki Pops. <laughs> so, yeah. Another review for you. Oh, she can't have these because they're too sweet because of her sugar. 
So I got these uh, for when it gets hot out. Hopefully it doesn't rain today because I want to do something on a fire for you guys later on. So uh, if that works out good, that'll be fine. If not, that'll be fine too. I've got alternative plans for that. So there you go. That'll be on Chef Shea Bear. So there you go, guys. The popsicle maker. Let's see, what did they call it? They called it the ice pop maker. We used to always call them popsicles. So looks like that and that. Dollar Tree, one dollar. Can't beat it. Two thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Peace.